All right, it's here. It's time to throw down. Team Cap versus Team Iron Man. It's gonna be a superhero beatdown. But from everything that we know about Iron Man, can anyone ever knock him out? Maybe not. In Captain America Civil War, there is no shortage of Haymaker's throne. It looks like Tony Stark takes a beating serious enough to put him out of commission, but he stays standing. This got me thinking, maybe Iron Man, or at least his suit, has another superpower we rarely consider. He may be knockout proof. Now, hear me out. On a previous episode, we came to the conclusion that Tony Stark's suits should kill him, but not from a malfunction or from inadequate protection, but just from the aerial acrobatics and the G's that Tony pulls. For example, look at the maneuver Tony pulls off here. All right, stop the video. See that? That would kill you right there. In that clip, Iron Man breaks the sound barrier right before coming to a complete stop, or at least a massive slowdown, meaning that he's going at least 1195 kilometers per hour, or Mach 1. And if he's reversing all of that velocity in maybe a tenth of a second, the deceleration that he pulls is effectively 350 Geez, and to put that into perspective, that's huge. Astronauts only pull three at launch and fighter pilots during a dive only pull eight. Iron Man makes moves like this all the time, which means that he's effectively immune to G-forces. Hmm. Hand blast! We measure G's as an acceleration or deceleration relative to the acceleration due to Earth's gravity, or around 9.81 meters per second per second. So, if I were to drop this marker, it will add 9.81 meters per second to its velocity every second as it heads towards the center of the Earth. Accelerate or decelerate twice as fast, and that's two G's. Human bodies evolved under Earth's gravity, so they're not very good at withstanding G's more than one. If you accelerate or decelerate too fast, you can force blood literally up into your brain or out of your brain and into your feet. And if that happens, then you can experience G-lock, what fighter pilots call G-loss of consciousness. And without blood in your brain, you pass out. And if your head is pulling those Gs, you can also get knocked out. When a boxer gets knocked unconscious, it's because their skull rapidly accelerates, but their brain stays in place, and then the two bump into each other and the brain decides to reboot. If Iron Man doesn't pass out or get knocked out by the moves that he makes or the hits that he takes, it implies another level of engineering that another animal already has. Here's a fun fact about the woodpecker. It can't get knocked out. It is immune to concussions. Just watch this little dude in slow motion. It is pulling 1,200 Gs every time it pecks, 22 times a second. There are a few reasons for this bird's immunity to concussions. First, its beak has a material that's hard but elastic. A part of its skull is spongy. The fluid that sits between the skull and the brain of the woodpecker is very, very good at absorbing vibrations. And finally, there's a structure called a hyoid, which houses a tongue-like structure that wraps all the way around the bird's skull. That's another fun fact about the woodpecker. Its tongue, wraps all the way around its skull and out its mouth. It looks a little weird, but it all adds up to a perfectly evolved shock absorber. If I were Tony Stark, ooh, the woodpecker's brain and head would be the first place that I looked when designing a suit that needs to accelerate or decelerate quickly. Let's, let's go back to the jet fighter example for a second. So if Tony Stark's suits weigh maybe a few hundred pounds, then stopping all that velocity like he did in the clip puts hundreds of thousands of Newtons on him. Specifically, like 660,000 Newtons. And that's like getting in a car crash at highway speed six times over at once. Now, Olympic boxers can only punch in the thousands of Newton's range, not the hundreds of thousands. And I'm willing to say that Captain America or the Winter Soldier are much, much stronger than the average person. Maybe 10 times as strong as the average person, or 100. But thousands? Many, many thousands of times? Uh, I, I don't think so. But they would have to be if they ever wanted to knock out Tony Stark, because his helmet is probably designed like a woodpecker's skull, treating Tony Stark's head on the inside like its brain. So, because Tony Stark is a master engineer and we see him endure forces and accelerations that should otherwise kill him, 
Iron Man is more like the Iron Woodpecker, effectively immune to G-forces that should knock him out like a punch from Captain America to the face or from Bucky. That's the cool thing about science. It can be a superpower in and of itself. Because, you know why. Team Iron Man. Thank you so much for watching. At Grumpy Humbug asks, in Star Wars, how does Han's blaster knock back a stormtrooper from a fighting stance? Doesn't that need mass? Well, actually, yeah, I never thought about that, Grumpy. That's exactly what it need. You're talking about Newton's third law, right? So for every action, there needs to be an equal and opposite reaction. For Han Solo to shoot a blaster bolt at a stormtrooper and the stormtrooper to be knocked back, you know, a dozen feet and slide along the dirt, Han would have to be firing something that would throw him back an equal amount. And that's usually something going very, very fast or something very, very heavy going slow, like a cannonball. That's why a, a cannon gets thrown back when it, on the deck of a pirate ship, it, it gets thrown backwards when it fires a cannonball out in that direction. And that's exactly what uh, a blaster would actually have to do if you wanted to knock a stormtrooper across the room. Blah, 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 blah. Win. And a special thanks to our sponsor today, Battleborn. Developed by Gearbox Software, who you might know from the freaking Borderlands series, Battleborn is a super huge first person shooter where you'll get to choose from 25 playable characters as you defend the very last star in the universe from a mysterious evil. With a campaign you can run through solo or with friends, plus all the competitive multiplayer shenanigans you've come to expect. Guys, you can play as a hawk person, a samurai vampire, and a luchador with, uh, robot arms? Do the right thing and play this ridiculously awesome game out now. Thanks, Battleborn. Now, I'm willing to accept that Tony Stark made some kind of fluid or inertial dampener or something like that to put in his suit so that he wouldn't die from all the G-forces that he would experience. That makes sense to me. Uh, what doesn't make sense is why doesn't everyone break their hand when they punch Iron Man in the face? You can't just, you can't just punch titanium and gold over and over and over again. Even if you're superhuman, you still have tiny, tiny little bones in your hand, those are gonna shatter, especially if you're punching them with superhuman strength. And yeah, uh, Steve, Steve Superbone Rogers. Oh, don't call him that. <laughs>